Hi YouTubers and welcome to Kevin's Electrical Workshop. Today we're going to uh, dismantle the GHD Eclipse. We have one here, it's actually a scrapper and I'm going to be dismantling it just for parts so if I do break anything while taking it apart I'm not too worried. Uh, it's not a customer's or anything like that. Like I said I'm just dismantling it for parts so in some bits I may be a bit rough. Uh, first of all you will notice if you've ever looked at one of these there's no screws visible. What you need to do is remove these two top covers which the, the hot end seems to be the easiest way to actually get underneath it. Hopefully you can see a bit of leverage and they will start to come away. Right, let's I mean, normally I would use like a hot air dryer on this side, this softens the glue. But as it is a scrapper, I'm not too worried about these parts. Right, we have one side off. Let's see if we can get the other side. Yes, there we go. To be honest, this is probably the hardest part about dismantling. The eclipse. Gotcha. Right, once that's apart, what we have is we actually have a screw here, one here, and exactly the same on the other side. So, what I will do is just remove these screws. Same on the other side. Right, now the screws are out. This cover here and this cover there will not have been held in by anything apart from friction, but what I'll do first is I like to dismantle the switch. It just pulls out. And you got a little tab here, and just flip that over. It's just going to make it easier later. Alright, let's have a look. Right, need to do the non switch side. And if we were very careful, we can actually. Part of these two covers leaving this section of plastic in place which holds the plates in. If you don't you find the plates fall everywhere and it's a real pain in the you know what. Right. Right, now that's out. Some this brush. We're nearly in. Let me just undo the actual hinge. Unlike previous GHDs, you only need the one screwdriver because it's got a hex head on the other side. It almost looks like they uh, copied the fakers. They used to make this style of connection in their fakes. Right. right once that's out, there's a little bit of plastic here. Just got to give it a little bit of leverage, and as you see, it pops out. From that, the metal hinge pin. Right, we've got a bit more space now. And what we want to do is we try and remove the cable. There's a screw either side of this cable clamp. Obviously, normally you would have a huge cable, but this being a scrap unit, it's basically got nothing. Once that's off, you want to drop the cable clamp out, and all this time you grab your cable, and it does have some flats on which can come out. Right now we're actually getting somewhere. 
Right. What I'm going to do is just push that ribbon through. I'm normally a lot more gentler than that. And the stickiness is sticking to my mat. And let's wiggle and pull back to just get this plate clamp, whatever you want to call it, out. Right. Right, we're almost there. The actual circuit board's not held in by anything at this point. It should come straight out. Now this one's you know we finally break around here, that's normal for these. If we can get out a hole, it would be good. Did I actually got that out of hole? And again, nothing holding this in. Alright, All right, you now have the whole of the insides of the Eclipse out. Alright, while the video is running, I'm actually going to. plate holders, we may even see what's wrong with this one, quite often they break their heaters, so. Oops. take the screws out, and then just leave it these slightly, See, this is That'd be a bit vicious with this. This is the problem, probably, with this one. I think this here is actually okay. So find that. So yes, this heat is okay. So got a good heater. It's in. Uh, this heater has cracked or well, should have two good thermal fuses. Alright, many thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.